For more than three billion years, plants have been absorbing sunlight with the help of a green pigment called chlorophyll. During photosynthesis, the leaves transform the light into energy, allowing plants to grow and produce oxygen, the basis for all life on Earth. This energy is truly green. At the University of Kassel, scientists are trying to use the same principle to generate energy. A team of architects, artists, scientists and designers are working on a building material that will transform sunlight into electricity like a solar cell. They're using ordinary concrete as their base. The researchers mix it with graphite so it can conduct electricity. After it's hardened, the special concrete can function as a positive or negative pole. Heike Klossmann is an artist. Torsten Kloster, an architect. They came up with the idea of using conductive concrete to generate solar power. What you see here looks like ordinary concrete, but what's special about it is that it's sensitive to the touch, as you can see. And that's because we've made this concrete capable of conducting electricity. And this conductive concrete is the basis for our solar concrete. To give the concrete the desired characteristics, the scientists spray on various layers of colored liquid. The result is a dye-sensitized solar cell that produces electricity through artificial photosynthesis. The order in which the wafer-thin layers of color are applied is all important. If you combine the layers correctly, you end up with something that functions like a photovoltaic cell. One layer contains dye pigments. When sunlight strikes them, electrons are released and current starts to flow. To improve their dye-sensitized solar cells, the researchers conducted long-term measurements in the lab. A single solar cell delivers a charge of just a few hundred millivolts. If you cover it with your hand, the charge falls sharply and rises again when light hits the solar cell. The cell's efficiency is currently just 2%. That's not much, but it's a start. Solar concrete, our discrete, is so interesting because it's really easy to produce, it's environmentally friendly and can be used on large surfaces. Maybe one day in the future all the smooth, flat surfaces in the city could be used to produce electricity. The more cells that are sprayed onto a building's wall, the more electricity it can produce. To do this, the individual cells need to be interconnected. Under ideal conditions, a surface area of one square meter could generate 20 watts of power. The researchers hope that one day a facade robot will scale building walls and spray them with solar cells. The solar concrete developed in Kassel might be ready to go into industrial production in about five years. It could be used as a construction material for new buildings and to upgrade existing facades.